Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the CRT Millennium AM and FM CB radio. We'll be taking a look at its features, some specs, and also at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to access the high power mode. And I'm going to show you what mods you can do, what tweaks you can do to the radio inside. And we'll also do a couple of power tests. So um, without further ado, let's get into the video. We'll start with the dimensions. Now, lengthwise, it's four and a half inches, 4.5 inches. Width is four and a half inches, including the heat sink at the back. And the height is one inch. As with all multi-norm radios, these have a particular set of channels and frequencies already stored on the radio. And you select them via a key press, whichever country you so wish to operate the radio in. So we do so by turning off the radio and holding in the AM and FM button on the top left, turning on the radio, and you can then switch through all the different bands using the up and down key like so. So we're in the UK, so we're gonna set it to UK. And when you're happy with it, you turn off the radio and it will store it. It will stay on that band. And now we are on the UK band. A very cool feature that I've seen with this radio that I haven't seen with others, and that is a bracket like this. It comes with a very sturdy bracket indeed. If I turn it over, it's a very heavy duty metal bracket and it's nice and wide as well. Now, what I like about this is if you pull the two metal tabs apart and push the radio to the front, the radio comes away from the bracket entirely. So you can take the radio in with you if you're mounting it in a car, for example, and it snaps back into place, like so. And I just thought that was a really, really cool feature. We'll quickly run through the features of the radio now. So on the front, we do have the microphone socket, which you can actually get an adapter for this and add your own four pin microphone from your other CB radio. You may have a power microphone, that you wish to use, it's up to you, but you can get an adapter. We have the AM and FM key, which in UK mode does not access AM. It just switches between the European mode and UK mode. So that's worth bearing in mind. And back to UK, it doesn't actually access AM. Now, if you want to use AM, on the European band, what you need to do is you need to switch the radio to EU. To do that, we press and hold the AM and FM button, turn on the radio like we did before, and you just go ahead and select EU, like so. Switch off the radio and turn it back on again. And now you will have access to the AM band, as you should be able to see. Moving down, we have our squelch button. This has two functions. Number one, if you short press it, you can select your squelch level by using the up and down arrows. And if you long press it, you can select your auto squelch level and it stays on altogether. Now, RF gain, you can switch it on by a short press like so, and you can select your gain however you so wish. I found that on these radios, for some reason, the higher the number, the less gain, and the lower the number, the more gain. Bit weird, and you can switch it off by just short pressing again. Then we have the um, emergency key, which is quite self-explanatory. And then we've got the up and down arrows for your channel select and menu select. And we have the on off and volume control knob on the right. And that really is it for its features. 
Dependent on what country you set the radio to be used in, the high power mode may possibly be off by default and the radio will only operate in low power mode. And the UK band is one of those. High power mode is actually locked out. So this radio on the box says it's doing four watts. So we're going to do a quick power test. And then after I'm going to actually show you how to modify the radio to access the high power mode, which is reportedly stated at eight watts. So I'll show you how to modify it. I'll show you just a few little mods that you can make few tweaks if you so wish and um, we'll do another power test after but without further ado we'll try it in standard mode so this is how the radio came from factory now we are looking at the left hand side graph here and we are in particular looking at the black numbers on the bottom so as you can see we've got one two four six and ten watts so Let's see what it's doing. Just under four watts. Before we move on and I show you how to modify the radio for the high power mode, I just want to say two things. Number one, this is just for demonstration purposes only. This may void your warranty, so you really do have to think about doing it. If the radio is brand new and you've got a warranty with it, this will more than likely avoid the warranty. Number two, self-explanatory. Make sure that you're keeping within your licensing regulations, because I know that some countries in Europe are still using a CB license and you're limited to a certain amount of power. So just bear that in mind. So without further ado, let's get the uh, back off of the radio and I'll show you the, uh, the modification. What you want to do is flip over the radio and you want to remove the four small torque screws on the bottom. At the back of the radio by the power cable, you have a small little tab that you can actually get your nail under and lift it up. Now, bearing in mind there is a speaker wire connected, so be very careful when you do this. Now, there should be enough wire that you won't have to actually take the speaker out, which if you want to, you can do so by taking it out, by just pulling on this connector. Looking closer at the board, there are a few adjustments that you can make if you so wish, and you do so at your own discretion. The FM modulation pot is down on the bottom left as we look at it from the uh, top down. Then on the right hand side up in the top right, we have three adjustment pots here. The top one clearly marked AM modulation. The middle pot is for your high power mode adjustment. And the bottom one is for your low power adjustment. So zooming in even more and hopefully you can see this down here, we have two jumpers. And they're actually not sitting fully on the jumper pins at all. As you can see, two pins are actually exposed. Now, when I opened this, first of all, it had a piece of silicone attached to here. And it was sitting on top of these two jumpers to stop them moving. So what you want to do to enable high power mode is you need to move these two pins across by one. So what we want to do is we want to gently prise up the first jumper and then drop it back down onto both pins and make sure it's sitting nice and secure. Do the same with the second one and we drop it down on both pins and again press firmly down and that should be it. So all we've done is we've just lifted the two jumpers and moved them across so they are linking both of the two jumper pins on OP1 and OP2. 
go ahead now and put the casing back on and put the screws back in. Now all we need to do is to enable the high power mode and we do so by pressing the PTT key on the microphone. So keep that pressed. This is a bit awkward, so bear with me. Press and hold the RF gain button in and switch on the radio. And then let go. You'll see on the right hand side of the screen next to the channel number is the letter H, which says that it's in high power mode. So let's go ahead once more and we'll see what this is actually doing power wise. So it's reported to be eight watts. So we will be looking on this scale here, the, uh, the black numbers on the left hand side graph. So without further ado, let's see what it's doing. Just under 10 watts. which is not too shabby at all. Switching back to low power is the same again. We press the PTT. We press and hold RF gain while switching on the radio and then let go. And you'll see the letter H is gone and we are back in low power mode. So that's pretty much it for the video. That's been my kind of take on the CRT Millennium. And I've been really impressed using this radio. I've been using it for four or five days and the audio reports that I've been getting from local stations has been pretty good. They've all commented on how loud and punchy the audio actually sounds. And uh, I'm very impressed with the output power of it. So um, if you're in the market for a small multi-norm compact radio then this might be just for you if this video was of any help to you or any use please do consider hitting that like button below the other option is there too i don't mind and if you're new to the channel and you've just stumbled across it welcome along i hope you'll have a little look around my channel and maybe hit that subscribe button as well because I really do appreciate every single subscription and every interaction with my videos. So until the next one, I'm going to wish you all the best 7-3, stay safe and take very good care. And I'll see you in the next one.